Uh, I've known personally of employees that have had to go on um, stress leave. I've known of employees that have had chest pain during working hours. Um, we've had to call 911 on some of our coworkers. And uh, personally, myself, um, I was told that I wasn't working fast enough. And um, this affects the patient care. When it came to my coworkers, when we would have a staff meeting um, that was designed to have input for uh, the, the workers to give input, she wouldn't allow us to speak. She would just shut us down and tell us what to do. And instead of getting uh, our concerns, she didn't want to hear about that. Horrible. I was intimidated. I had to run up. I felt that no one understood what was going on, especially management. After that, I was investigated for over a year and still wondering what the results would be. At the end of the year, it came out that I was innocent. No one ever apologized to me, and it was shameful. It was shameful and embarrassing. Being bullied in the ER, I was anxious. I was always nervous about making mistakes because all eyes were on me at all times. I developed chest pain. I couldn't sleep. Um, I had no motivation. I, I felt like um, I was being crushed. I, I was in a room that was getting smaller and smaller. Um, difficult breathing. And many times I had to leave work because of chest pain. And this was just my experience. My other coworkers went through very similar um, problems and some even worse. We, we are here to help, to uh, help you understand, to back you up, to give you courage not to be intimidated, to be afraid. We are people, we are here to help one another and we're here for a purpose, to help the patients not to inflate egos of management. It's a work in process. Things did not get like this overnight. They're not going to resolve overnight. But I do think and believe that there's going to be a, a lot of hearts that will have a little bit of closure knowing that our voice is finally being heard, that actions are being finally taken.